What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I will show you how to make a UI that you can toggle on and off. Um, like this. Uh, if you want, I, uh, I will also make another video on how to- Or I'll make a part two of this video on how to make it so when you click another one, it makes the other one disappear, like that. It's actually not that hard to do this. But anyways, let's hop right into it. Alright, so... If you watched the last video, you'll uh, recall how I made. <sighs> I did not want to play test. You'll recall how I made the um, UI scaling. So basically, on different platforms, it scales the UI. So if you haven't watched that video already, I highly recommend you to watch it. It'll be somewhere on the top right of the screen. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert a button like so and we're gonna make this button inside the screen UI all right and let's just center it to the right of the screen let's go ahead and scale it set this to 48 48 48 and we can insert a UI corner into it if we want and then we can uh, just rename this button or you can rename it whatever you want just customize it the way that you would like to customize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Gotham. So there's our button. Uh, let's do how to play. So basically this will toggle the how to play UI. Okay, and let's just add a little bit of text here to make the UI look a little bit better. Let's go ahead and make the offset zero, zero. Hold on, I just gotta do that. Okay. Uh, transparency one, text color, make this Gotham. This Gotham's gonna be like the theme of our game. So let's just put this as, to win this game, you must capture all four zones without being killed by the enemy team. If you do get killed, you will have three lives. Okay. Three lives and can respawn. Okay, so that's our how to play. It's very, very basic. And if you don't like the text being scaled that much, you can do like 60. Or just set it to like a size that you want. Like that. And then you can adjust it to be closer to the top. So if that's how you want it. And you can duplicate it, add a little more text on here if you want. Okay. And so anyways, let's hop into the actual coding part. So we're going to insert a local script into the button and we're going to do function, um, function on clicked, drop down two lines, uh, it already added the end for us. So we're going to do script dot parent dot mouse button one click, or sorry, mouse button one uh, connect and on click. So this will basically make it so when you click the UI, it will um, it will return the function. Okay. So we're just gonna add a line here. So basically, when you click script dot parent, or let's go ahead and name this toggle. So. All right, let's just restart this. Okay, so script, so this is like basically getting the toggle script, so it's like basically the script here, and then script parent. so now it's um, basically gonna do something to the button. Dot parent, dot frame, so this is the frame, dot visible equals true. And we're not done yet, so let's just go ahead and make this not visible, and if we go ahead and play test, and we click the button, the UI should open, but I did something wrong. So let's just go ahead and check the output. What did I do wrong? Mouse button one. Okay, yeah. Mouse button one click. Sorry. All right, so that you got that. So this is also teach you how to do some debugging. It's mouse button one click. All right, there we go. All right, so that was a little embarrassing, guys. Sorry that happened. So if so, we're gonna add an if statement. So basically. If so, if a value of something is like true, or whatever. So we're gonna just go ahead and make. We're just gonna copy and paste this, and we're gonna do if script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals true. Then we're gonna add two equal signs. 
Um, it'll basically make the. Or no, let's just make a variable for the frame. Um, local frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot frame. So now we can just do frame dot visible equals true. All right. So let's just go ahead and make it so basically, if the frame is visible, it'll make it invisible. And then we're gonna do else if frame dot visible equals false. So remember two equals equals false. Then script sorry frame dot visible equals true. All right. So we have no errors with the code. So let's go ahead and test it out. And what should happen is it should toggle the UI on and off like so. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. If this helped you, be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, bye.